Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Pradipika and I'm passionate about watercolors. And this channel is all about creating, practicing and experiencing watercolors. So let's start. So today I have my daughter with me and we both are going to paint these cute and very simple Diwali greeting cards. Diwali is a big festival for us and we want to share the happiness with you. So let's start Avnita. Diwali is a festival of light and that's why we want to focus on warm colors today. That is our red, orange, yellow, brown mostly. The first card is the simple one. I have made two simple sketches of lights, hanging and some fireworks. I have used a waterproof pen to make the sketches. Don't worry if you don't have one. You can always paint first and draw the outlines later with any black fine liner or sketch pen once your painting is dry. This one's a very basic painting. You can follow along or just watch it and then add your own awesome ideas and make your own greeting cards. For the cone or the flower pot, we are using green color and purple for the stripes. And here, Avnita will explain what we are doing. Right, Avnita? Yes. For the rocket, we're trying some wet and wet painting. We're just dabbing wet paint on top of yellow paint and just letting watercolors do their magic here. For the lights, we're thinking we could do red, yellow, green, and blue. For the world Gagar Chakri, as we say in Hindi, we're just going to make some spirals in red or orange and then some sparks coming out of it. You can always pause the video if we're going too fast for you. This is a very simple card with very simple shapes like circle, rectangle and triangles.
Very simple design, nothing fancy here. Now I have some golden color and I am going to use it to paint some borders for this greeting card. You can use a simple yellow color also instead of the golden color. Now we we'll let this painting dry and come back to it. For our second card, we ladies decided to use some salt with our wet in wet technique to get some unique textures. So would you explain the next bit of Nita? Yes. So here we are wetting a small area of the paper and painting it first with yellow color and then dabbing the same area with red paint. And on top of this we are sprinkling some common salt on. We will be doing the same thing all over the paper. Using salt gives us unique texture as the salt crystals soak up the liquid from the watercolors and that's why for this technique we are going in batches or smaller areas because we want our paint to be wet. You can always choose different colors for your painting. And now we are going to let this dry. For the third card, we both are trying to do the layering technique. We are starting with just simple circle. Leaving enough gap in between. Once the first layer of the circle dries, we will put the second layer of overlapping circles. Just a simple circle shape design. Thank you. 
Now we let this dry. The second card where we used salt has now dried and there are some beautiful textures. Now we both are planning to cut out a dia shape out of it and we'll see later what design to make. So this is how it looks now. Here are the three cards that we just painted and now we'll do some final touches with some hand lettering or messages. Let's see what we can come up with. Here we are just using normal sketch pens or felt tips to make some designs on top of our watercolor background. Hope you all liked and enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and ring the bell icon. Wish you all a happy Diwali!